I have the Google Pixel 8 right here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to pass safety net attestation checks even after you have unlocked the bootloader and installed Majisk. And I do want to point out that this tutorial will work with the larger Pixel 8 Pro exactly like it does with the base model that I have here. So it doesn't matter which version you have, the steps will be exactly the same. So here I have a Pixel 8 that is currently failing safety net checks. And for those who may not be familiar with this, the safety net attestation API is something within the Android operating system that allows application and game developers to set, check some things about the device it is currently installed to. It basically wants to check and see if the hardware that it's currently running the app has been tampered with. For example, the developers of Pokemon Go want to stop people from cheating in their game with various GPS hacks that can simulate the location of the device to be wherever they want. And since most of the time this happens when the phone is rooted, the app developer can choose to block those people from playing the game if their device fails these safety net checks. But this ends up being a cat and mouse game because community developers have been able to patch the phone so that these tests will pass even when the bootloader is unlocked and the phone is rooted with Majisk. Now to patch the Google Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro so that it will pass safety net attestation checks again, we need to download a Majisk module called Safety Net Fix. There are a couple of these mods avail available for Android from different developers, and each one seems to work best on different devices. I've even found that older versions of these mods sometimes will work better than the latest version. So after digging through the available options and testing a few of them out, I have found a version that works perfectly on the base model of the Pixel 8 that I have here. And I will be sure to include a direct download link to the same version that I'm installing here today. And that link will be down in the video description below. Once you have finished with this tutorial, this will allow you to pass both the basic integrity test as well as the CTS profile match test with the Pixel 8 or the Pixel 8 Pro. So go ahead and download that Majisk module. Again, it's linked in the video description. And it should be a zip file that we can easily install with Majisk. So after it has been downloaded, we're going to open up the Majisk application. And then we are going to tap the modules tab in the bottom right corner. This will bring us to our modules page where we can tap the install from storage button and then begin to search and find that safety net zip file that you just downloaded. So go ahead and tap that file and confirm that we do want to install it. It shouldn't take too long for the installation to be completed. And we can follow along with what Majisk is doing in the log window right here. When it finishes, you'll see a blue reboot button down at the bottom right. But instead, we're going to go back. And then we're going to tap the Home tab to go back to the main page of Majisk. Then look at the top right corner 
and tap the gear icon so that we can go into the settings area of Majisk. Now we're going to scroll down until you see the Majisk section and you're going to want to look for the Zygisk toggle. It's possible that you have not enabled this toggle yet since it is disabled by default. But the module that we just installed requires Zygisk to be enabled for it to work properly. So let's go ahead and tap this toggle to enable it, like you see here. And when it is enabled, again, Majisk will instruct you to reboot so that the mode is enabled properly. So after we have installed that module and after Zygisk is enabled, then we can restart the device. The reboot process should be the same as it normally is. And it's going to take us back to the Android lock screen, just as you would expect. Now, when the Pixel 8 or Pixel 8 Pro boots back up, let's go ahead and unlock it. And then we're going to open up the Majisk application. From here, we're going to tap on the Modules tab again at the bottom right so that we can come in and make sure that the Universal Safety Net Fix module is installed properly. Not only that, we also want to make sure that it is enabled, like we see with this toggle. As long as your modules tab looks like this, then the module should be installed and activated properly. So let's go ahead and open up a safety net check application and do another test. You can see we have passed our safety net check test with both the basic integrity and the CTS profile match both showing a success. You can check using this other application if you want. And again, we're wanting to check that the basic integrity and the CTS profile match is both passing. Now I do want to point out that the module that we installed isn't the latest version available from this developer. In fact, you may have noticed on the modules tab that we have an update button for this specific version. However, when I installed the latest version from that developer on the Pixel 8 that I have here, I was not passing the CTS profile test. It did allow me to pass the basic integrity check, but the CTS profile check was failing. So there seems to be some sort of bug with the latest version of that module, or maybe Google ended up reverting some changes back to how things were back in June or July. Either way, if you install this specific version that I have linked down below, then it should work perfectly, just as you saw here. And if you ran into any issues during this process, or if you noticed that the tests are no longer passing with the version that I have linked, then use the comment section below to let me know. I will then do my best to find another method maybe another version of the module that will work for the latest version of Android.